day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, I'm glad you're back. This is part C of what we talked about, and the subject is called vain glory. Is it worth losing your soul? And one thing we talked about in part B, and we, I think we got a little bit into it, part A, but it's, it's Galatians 5.26, where it says, Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Here's the thing about it, vain glory, like I said, and in part A, if you didn't hear part A or you didn't hear part B, the thing about it, vain glory is sitting there putting some things that is accomplishments of yourself, accomplishments of you consider of your race, accomplishments you consider of the nation, accomplishments you consider of your party. If they're not for promoting the the the, the gospel, then you you're not you're not getting glory. If it's not glorifying God, it means nothing. It's vain glory. Even ministries out there that's going to listen to the video, you got to understand this. You can sit there and select people because you think they're going to address the policies that you believe in. But if, if it's not glorifying God, if the people or the instrument you use is not glorifying God, then it's vain glory. Because you can't sit there and use the devil and think that his way is going to glorify God. And I, ain't I don't care. I ain't talking about whether you're, whether you're a Democrat or Republican. The fact is that if your behavior, contrary to the will of God, and you're sitting there saying, well, the policies are more important than, than the, 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 the person that we're using, it's vain glory. Because how God is going to get the glory? If we don't bear the fruit, how God going to get the glory if we don't endorse people that bears fruit? And if we, and I don't care who you endorse, but you got to understand this, if you don't minister them to bear fruit, it's vain glory. But God's not going to get the glory out of that. God, see, the world is looking at us as believers. The world is looking at us. And the world is sitting there saying, What's going on? Why are we using devious things to accomplish good? For what? Because hate begat hate. Remember the scripture that sit there and said in an Ephesian or Galatians, it says, Be not deceived, God is not marked. But whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. But we can't plant bad for good. If you plant bad, you're going to get bad. If you plant hate, you're going to get hate. We can't sit there and tell our children that, oh, watch out for these people because they're dangerous. And you sit there and don't realize you. If you're going to tell your child to watch out for somebody, you watch out for everybody. Because then you're going to leave a blind spot. Do you know that most crimes are committed by um, race against race? Think about it. The same race is what I'm trying to say. I mean, if more crimes are committed against whites by whites than blacks against whites. And yet we'll sit there and point the picture that the, that we got to watch out for this group of people. It's a lie. God, we all made it image of God. We got to love one another. I read here now, Luke 9, 23 is one of the scriptures we use. It says, and he said unto them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall, will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man that vanish if he gains the whole world, and lose himself, and be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me, and in of my words, of him shall be the Son of Man be ashamed. When he shall come in his own glory, and in his father's, and of the holy angels, 
If I tell you the truth, there be some th some standing here who shall not taste of death till they see the kingdom of God. You know, I, I, the thing about it is, he, he, we're not gonna obey glory because if we're not gonna glorify Him, He's gonna come, Jesus, in His own glory, and in His Father's, and of the holy angels. So. What do we want to hold up and, and have this vain glory uh, that's not glorifying God? In the end, God is going to answer. God is going to bring his own glory. So you're going to be part of it or you're going to be part of vain glory? What we sad to say, are you going to risk losing your soul for vain glory? Black lives matter. All lives matter. But if you don't value one person's life, one race life, then really you say they don't, they don't matter. And that's not what God wants. He said, I said, what? Verse 24 said, whosoever should save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. But what is a man's advantage? He gains the whole world and loses himself and be cast away. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to lose your soul for the color of your skin? <laughs> for your perceived race? It's not. I'm talking about whether you're black or white, red, yellow, brown, it doesn't matter. It's vain glory when we try to puff ourselves up. It's vain glory was sitting there trying to say, I, and I, I agree with one thing about people saying, Michelle, we will not replace because that's not what God wants. It's not that He's trying to replace, He's trying to merge the groups together as one, as children of God, not separated, not one subordinate of the other, but being one. So you don't replace when you become one. You, if you, we, we continue to do that, because you remember we, when we came into this country and we took the Indians and we, we took over. That's called replacing. And that makes us no better than anybody else. But when we try to come one and live together in harmony with one another, that's not replacing, that's coming to get along. And that's what God wants us to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And just remember, Jesus Christ is Lord, amen. All right, I'll see you next time. God bless. <laughs> there is documentation that people from Africa were here way before they were. You look at, at the history, uh, there, there is hieroglyphic from Egypt and Cain in North and South America that are dated way before Columbus came over here. There is uh, bones of, of people of color that outdate the first white men coming here. It's just, there's there's proof of transatlantic uh, uh, movement from Africa, even in Australia. So people of color moved prior to and brought civilization to these continents way before these people, uh, these Anglo-Saxons did, you know, way before the Vikings did. But that's that's just to say that, you know, that they they really don't have no claim to this continent. What what you know? Thing, I, I was sitting there saying is that the, uh, man's history has this conquest over and over again. But the point is to be able to live together now is what's more yeah. important, right? Because that's yeah. all that matters now, living together. And yes. there's some people that's afraid, Brother Addison. Charlottesville was an example of the tipping, I guess that's the tipping scale, or, or where, where somebody came in and said, Brother Jackson, I don't want to be, I will not be replaced. Chris, they, that, that group said, I will not be replaced. And they, they that's their fear. And I'm trying to tell you, that's not necessarily true. Nobody's trying to replace anybody. Well, if, if you use that kind of strategy yourself, you can't imagine anything else. 
So not like you know all of a sudden start thinking benevolently and when you've been a vicious average Woo. raven a ravenous wolf, you're not gonna turn into a sheep. You're gonna think like a wolf. And you're gonna think like everybody else thinks like a wolf. And so now you gotta go get guns because you know the wolves are coming to devour you because that's just you done. So when you start thinking about the things that we're doing as far as fame, glory is concerned, if you don't change the heart of that person, that person is gonna continue to be what they are. Wow. They're gonna stay where they are until Christ changes them. They will not, and, and that's, I think yeah. to me, the, the, the vanity of, of the things that we do is that we try to legislate righteousness. We, we talk to the devil about being the devil. He gonna be the devil until he get changed to something else and only God can change his heart. So the focus for us now becomes a little bit, a lot more narrower. When Jesus said, if you don't give up, you cannot be my disciple. Yeah. He said Christianity's disciple, he said his disciple. And so the things that he taught, the way he told them to go about doing business, that's, that works. The way he said changing people's hearts works. If we implement his, his methodology, people's hearts will change. If we go out there and slap them around, we might change their behavior. And literally, I, I agree with Edison. You were very doable people. We have the ability to survive almost in everything. But does that bring glory to the Lord? It's not like it's not like we're going to be annihilated. That's not going to happen. The things that happen with the Native Americans is not going to happen to black people and, and the Hispanics and the rest of the people that in this country. So they're kind of targeting themselves for destruction. I wish Trump would stop doing that because a lot of them are going to get hurt if he doesn't. But we have an obligation to our God to do business his way because he's trying to change their hearts, not just their behavior. He's trying to change their heart. Unfortunately, turning the other cheek. <laughs> This ain't the easy thing. <laughs> I, I think. I think. That, I think the power. I think the power is that 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 we don't think that that God's Works. way is going to be effective. But I really no, do right. think it is. <laughs> can I finally can 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 can, can I get in here? Oh, Y'all, yeah. I see the heat. I see the fire around your hair. I like say I've been sitting here for a minute. <laughs> and, hey, now, now, like I say, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to something. I just want to point something out. Y'all talking about this vain glory. I'm give y'all the definition of a word called vainglory. Vainglory is the excessive elation of pride over one's own achievement and ability. Boastful vanity, empty pomp of circumstance, or a show. Me personally, that I've heard that term that they call it is called vainglorious, and it was a, it was a concept done by this pro-black group and every time they said vainglorious it was something that the others non-blacks did boasting on something they did and every time they do something the uh this group would go back and point to the simple fact that a black person has already done it like brother like like brother addison would say when they say something about you know christopher columbus discovered america the first thing they would go is vainglorious this is protected by the red, the black, and the green. And then they'll shoot the fact that a black man done it first. So I, I, I give you that one for the vainglorious thing. I like that. Now, back to uh, what what uh, we are talking about and what they're scared of. I'm going to hit you what I always say. We babies, kids. We don't die. We multiply. <laughs> one thing that those jokers are really scared of is whether or not we're going to treat them the way they treated us uh, and they keep pushing like bro like brother johnson just said let's turn the other cheek i ain't turning no more uh, that's what's uh, going on right now that is what the problem is right now ain't nobody turning nothing like i told you the david's are out now y'all get, get ready for it i'll pick it whichever way y'all want to do it the david's are here now but I keep telling y'all, it takes four generations to change your mindset. The four generations, the four proposed dogs on uh, Malcolm them, they did every did that. Let's be silent, let's protest, let's do that. We got the civil rights era. Now, like I told you, I keep trying to tell y'all, count these four generations. Uh, Brother Jackson, Taylor, all of us, and Johnson. I'm, I was in the first grade when I went to school and integrated with some, with some white folk. Next year, 40 years, them four generations, 
I was in, I was second grade with them kids. That new generation that's up there right now, that's them kids that started. That's them black, white, green, purple, whatever kids you talking about, they went to school together. They know that we are just as equal from day one. In school, Lil Tommy sitting next to Boom Sheikah knows that Boom Sheikah is just as smart as he is. They know that. So to keep things going, they have to intensify. How do I keep this going? How do I keep my superiority or my color on top? That is when you end up, they know they're losing. They know it now. The grip is being lost and Trump is the last all out bastion to try to keep this thing in check. He's going to try everything. Like my other little joke I keep saying, he's gonna take the hat off, look to the side. He's 664. He ain't 666, but he still gotta stir this whole thing up. That is Trump's job. Like the sister said right now, Trump is here to just doing all this stuff over here and the system. The political system is still corrupt. It's still doing what it is because Trump over here talking about don't wear a mask. Don't wear a mask. Why? Because they want the system to kill them. Right. Here's what, here's what, let me, another one of my theories. Remember what I tell you, I told y'all what I, what I told y'all that, that the definition of what they quote unquote N-word is, they changed the definition. The, the system or the powers that are up here changed that a long time ago. My little answer for that one is, back a couple years ago, I said, if you make over 250000 you make less than $250,000 a year, if you can't get in that elite bank that they end up in, that 10%, everybody else is an N-word to them. Black, yeah. white, green, or purple. Yeah. In other words, ignorant, right about that. ignorant people, right, right about that. I, 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 and I think that that's and it's, it's consistent with the scripture. The scripture said that the thing that we're fighting at evil in high places, we're not looking at people, we're, we're looking at Satan is trying to affect the mentalities of the people that had the greatest amount of control. So the, he has the, infected the, it. It's, yes. it ain't, he ain't trying. It's already, like I said, we trying to fight the system. Remember, he, red pill, blue pill, brother, we in the matrix. He got to get out. So, That's so, right. and, and that becomes the issue. The, the world system is exemplified, well, it's actually revealed through the acts of Mr. Trump and the people that are are, 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 are part of his echelon. You know what I'm saying? The upper class, the the one percent that we talk about. When we talk about the they, they are the they. But they is really the world system, and that's what we still have prowess over them because we, if we exercise the authority that we're given by through by the Holy Spirit by God then we will ex exercise advantage over them. Because I mean, the COVID is killing our people that aren't getting healed, but who can heal? God can heal. God has given us everything that we really need to bring any institution that he's allowed us to become a part of through his needs. We literally can control an environment if we employ his tactics. But if we don't employ his tactics, we become a part of the same system we're trying to undermine. Well, and, and, and Johnson, I was wondering about that when you said we, and Chris, you tied that in perfectly. The we is not color. The we mm -hmm. may be economic uh, status. And the people, you know, the word, the N word means ignorant black people. But in reality, it's ignorant people that the system tries to dominate and try to control, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's what it's all about. Those who are above is trying to keep people ignorant or to, to hurt them. Because when you look at that rally that occurred, because right now all of them been postponed. Y'all heard that, right? The news, all those rallies that were planned have been postponed. Even Trump postponed his next <laughs> right. rally. So you know something something's up. Hey, so, well, it's, oh yeah, because it's almost getting out of control. Yeah. My point though, Chris, was I'm gonna bring these ignorant people into this state to what this uh church building mm -hmm. and sit them side by side mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and expose them because they're ignorant to what really is going on. Is that yeah. that, that sound right, Chris? Yes, but and, and at the same time, like I told you, Trump. It's just a byproduct of the whole thing because yeah, yeah. he's feeding his own personal ego. Because, like you yeah. said, he's standing right there going, 
I got all these idiots sitting around here tempting themselves. They going to sit here and die because they want to see me. Right. And do all this stuff. And he going to sit there. And then, like you said, and when they walk out, he going to go in there. Disinfect that bitch. I bet that joke of bathed in every dog on thing before he come out. He's sleeping in a glass bubble. He's scared as hell. Oh, right yeah. Body around that he man be tested every single day. Right. And everybody around him, you'll see, wears a mask. Yep. yep. All of his security wears masks. They yep. all, all his staff has to be tested. So, yeah. the, so the question becomes, who would be really killing? He it? gets tested. Yep. Yeah. So this is the thing. <laughs> this dude, <laughs> his plate? he's actually being pranked by these one percenters. Yeah. Yes. They're allowing yes. him to think that yeah, he's, he's in control, control. Yes. and that he is the one that, that's doing all this stuff. Right. As long as they got him thinking that, they can do whatever they want behind the scenes. And they've yeah. been doing it the whole time. The stock market. They had the stock market up so high, they're making all this money. And then all of a sudden, it dropped. Who do you think pulled all that money out before it dropped? They did. <laughs> they so they did. The and then they, then they open it back up and see just how many people are going to invest again. And yep. then everybody invests. And then all of a sudden, what they do? They pull their money out and that bad boy just drop right back down again. You know, so that way, these little ebbs and flows, I mean... It ebbs and flows in accordance with the comments that, that Trump makes. Can anybody explain yeah. what Trump. makes the stock market go up and down? Trump does. His no, comments is one of the things that's causing the, the stock market to drop like that up. Because, no, like you no, say, no. I'm in a little investment group right now. All we do is invest maybe 30 bucks a month. So we playing with it to see how this thing works. I've been doing it off and on. It ain't been, it's probably been over five years. And believe it or not, we have, we have made money over the last five years. The stock market went up. I'll say, we'll say the average is probably about 7% a year. The little group I'm with, we have made 19% every year since then. And the thing is, you know what makes the stock market move? Whatever the hell happens, nobody yeah. knows. Fear. Fear. <laughs> they want to make it move, they do. Yep. So you have to come up with whatever strategy you believe in, you stick to that one, and you hold to it. If you see something happen contrary to what your theory is, you, re you react accordingly. Because th this system is going to run regardless, wh whether, whether we think so or not. Only way this thing going to stop, I got another little theory. When the blue man comes, that's when everything going to change. That's when that alien come down, they finally reveal the blue man. That's when everything really going to change. Right. But I like the fact, and I like what Christian said, the fact is, it's really not about the color. It's about the it's knowledge. It's about whether you ignorant or not. Yeah. I mean, the well, Bible says money is the, the root. It. The love of it. The love of the money. Yes, sir. the root of all evil. Yeah. Right. So what is this all about? The love of money. Well, that's yes. what... That, it, it's truly it, about... It's about a system. It's about the system. It's the world system. And that's how it's run. It's run by money. It's monetary. It's, and, uh, that, and that's why I'm trying to tell you that this, even with this study, and what we've always been pushing is that you really do have to seek the kingdom's way first. Amen. Yeah. Own it. Yeah. Own it. To start off with that, Chris, <clears throat> I'm going to share these slides. I need you to read them. Okay. About. All right. Okay. <laughs> Chris, I'm calling you when this is over with you. We're gonna talk about some stuff these folks can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> I thought y'all was gonna do that after the Bible study. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, the post like, Bible study. <laughs> hey, if y'all notice, what, while this whole revolution, whatever going on in the streets, I'm pretty much just shut down. I, I'm quiet now. Because, like you said, in my mind, I've seen this. I've seen it. I don't know how it's going to end, which is the scary part, because that's the bad thing about the city now right now is everybody knew this was coming, to include the people that are in charge. They just don't know what the outcome is going to be. And in my mind, watching how these young kids are acting, if the movement doesn't get hijacked 
and that's what's getting ready to happen right now. Somebody trying to hijack. It's coming from the left. It's coming from the right. It's coming from the straight, the gays, whatever you want to call them. This thing is getting bigger, or they're trying to push it off. And all they said, all this thing really is about the human right. It is though. It is. It's about human it's rights. It's about but everybody going to try to put their spin on it and take it somewhere else. Let's, right. And here, once again, go back to oh. Jesse Jackson and coming out of the civil rights era. No, Let's make this rainbow no. thing. We shouldn't have worried about the rainbow. We should have worried about what we initially came in there for. Yeah. The civil rights and get ourselves together. You the can't human, like that. Human yeah. rights. Once again, the human rights. Once again, they want to put, we got to carry everybody. Every time something happens, they put it on the soldier of the, on the shoulder of the, of the blacks. Blacks gotta push this whole thing because, like you said, they've been trying to go after X, Y, Z, B, Q, whatever. Everybody trying to do this rights thing, but everybody got an agenda. But they figure out oh, let's lump it on the black on the Black Lives Matter movement. Now everybody trying to play a card off the back of that. Now that's what everybody well, need to watch out. Look, 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 look at the, the way that. Uh, Oh, when you look at the, the 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 civil rights movement and what was achieved during that, so many different groups used the changes that were made to make changes in their lives, and they actually benefit yes. the fullness of what we get lacked in, we get left right. behind in. And the only reason why the gays and the LBGTQs and uh, the women and everybody else get these rights put in a place to where they mean something is because they have the financial ability to back it up in the courts and everything because they become a unit. Yes. And they're yes. on one accord and they put their finances behind their aggressive attempt to move the laws in their favor. Yes. But people of color will not come together on one accord and put their finances together to make change in the laws. And until that happens, we're going to be spinning our wheels. Now, these movements are great. Yeah. And they'll, uh -huh. they'll put the, the, uh, the issue on on what actually needs to be changed right but unless finances are used to make changes in the law ain't nothing gonna happen because without the courts nothing's gonna happen so well you know